Hi guys, uh, may pakita ko sa isang video tungkol sa bitcoins. Bago muna tayo pumunta sa isang video, may tinatawag kayo na 3 type of blockchain. Ang 3 type of blockchain is first, number 1 is public blockchain, number 2 is the private blockchain, and number 3 is federated or consortium blockchain. Uh, ang ma-explain ko lang muna sa inyo yung number 1 is public blockchain. What is public blockchain? is a public or permission less blockchain network is a one where anyone can be participate with restriction yan ang ibig sabihin yan kaya agad, huwag mo kalimutan mo na uh, stop yung video na to at panoorin yung video nito sa bilang contribution ng core chain and saan tayo yung project nito yung core chain o sa touch uh, is a free mining sa ngayon hindi pa natin alam kung kailan mag may mini cha o magkano yung price yang mini Thank all the banks are broke bank santander deutsche bank raw bank Stockholm, they're all broke and why are they broke it isn't an act of god it isn't some sort of tsunami they're broke because we have a system called fractional reserve banking which means that banks can lend money that they don't actually have it's a criminal scandal and it's been going on for too long. To add to that problem, you have moral hazard, a very significant moral hazard from the political sphere. And most of the problem starts in politics and central banks, which are part of the same political system. We have counterfeiting, sometimes called quantitative easing, but counterfeiting by any other name. The artificial printing of money which if any ordinary person did, they'd go to prison for a very long time. And yet governments and central banks do it all the time. Central banks repress the amount of interest that rates are, so we don't have the real cost of money. The sheer effrontery of this is quite astonishing. It's central banks. It's central banks that manipulate interest rates, Commissioner. And plus, underneath all this, we talk loosely, in a rather cavalier fashion, do we not, about deposit guarantees. So when banks go broke through their own incompetence and chicanery, the taxpayer picks up the tab. It's theft from the taxpayer. And until we start sending bankers, and I include central bankers and politicians, to prison for this outrage, it will continue.
sa inyong palagay panahon na ba para pagawin ang panalapin natin mula sa ginagamit natin ngayong pagdukala o sa lukuyang pera is fiat papunta natin sa digital ayok magiging na maganda ang buhay natin kaya bago muna kayo mag uh, skip ang video na to uh, please subscribe my video mga katropa thank you for watching this